going on everybody and welcome back to Frankie's Aquatics right here on the wonderful platform that is YouTube. I hope you've all had a fantastic week. Um, I think any axolotl owner is guilty of talking to their axolotl. I do it every single day without fail. I wake up in the bed that this tripod is currently sat on and I say good morning to my whole tribe behind me. So I literally greet them with a good morning every single day. I check on them to make sure they're okay. I check on them to make sure they're happy, they're content. I check the water temperature because yes, I am the sort of guy that keeps this beside my bed. Yes, I am. Don't judge me. Don't judge me. And then I greet them with a good morning. Um, but can axolotls actually hear us? Or are we just wasting our time? That is the golden question. So today, I've done a little bit of research. And my little bit of research, I mean a big lot of research. And we're going to talk about if axolotls can actually hear us. So without further ado, let's go. I don't know where I'm going, but let's just go anyway. So as humans, we're all guilty of talking to our animals. We talk to our cats, we talk to our dogs. Some people talk to the hamsters, the chickens, whatever else it might be. But sometimes it gets considered a little bit strange when you talk to your aquatics. Uh, in this case, your axolotls. Um, I can't remember who it was. One of my friends turned around to me and said, you do know they can't hear you, don't you? And I was like, actually, you know what? I'm going to prove you wrong. I'm going to prove you wrong. They can hear me. And they know exactly what we're saying as well. They understand us and everything. So obviously that was a bit of a bit of a stab in the dark but I thought I'd research and discover if axolotls can actually hear us and I'm pleased to report yes they can they actually can they do hear although it's very different to how you'd probably anticipate it to be so before we go down that route let's talk about axolotl sensors in general as we all probably know axolotls have really poor vision now to make up for this they have a really good keen sense of smell which kind of makes sense because in the wild they'd have to hunt out their food so they need to have some sort of good sense about them um, so the axolotls don't have very good eyesight but to make up for that they have a real keen sense of smell now where does the hearing come into this? Can they actually hear? Do they have ears? 
They don't have ears as such. Now, I might be telling you slightly wrong, so do bear with me while I try to explain what I found out when I did, when I did a bit of research on this. Axolotls hear, much like whales hear, they hear vibration. So if you, if you were completely mute yourself and you were talking, you can feel your chest vibrating when you're talking. You can even feel your words leaving your mouth. It's the vibration in the air and that is what axolotls pick up on. Now you might have to consider, you have to speak a little bit louder for the vibrations to be felt by the axolotls, but they can in fact hear you. So when you speak, your words will vibrate and it will vibrate their tank and more so their water and they will pick up on the vibrations. The reason I was convinced in the first place that axolotls can absolutely hear is every morning when I go down and greet Pixel, I'll sit there for a moment and I go, morning Pixel, and I open up the lid and it's got a slidey glass lid, that was, that was the action for that. And uh, she'll often come up. Now, I'm obviously aware that they've got poor eyesight, so have I, and um, I ov obviously make that bit more effort in regards to spending time so they can see me. So yes, axolotls can hear, but it's not how you'd probably think. You may mistake their gills. Some people even mistake their gills for ears. Um, is that where they're here from? Now gills, uh, that's what they use for breathing. So when you see their gills going through the water like so, a really poor example here. Is that a bit better? That's them taking oxygen from the water. They are, they're, they're fanning the water almost to search for the oxygen. Pretty incredible in itself, really. But a lot of people ask if the gills have anything to do with the hearing. Now, they actually don't. They work solely off vibration. So just to explain that, the best way I can describe it to you is much like a whale. A whale will have a, something called a whale call. Axolotls work in a very similar way. They work off vibration. So when you are talking to your axolotl, yes, they can hear you, but not how you would think they would. Pretty amazing, right? It's pretty clever, pretty clever. Now, axolotls haven't been studied in too much depth by scientists to actually confirm this as fact. This is going on a grander scale of salamanders and newts. There has been many studies to see if they can work off vibration. We have to assume that axolotls kind of work in a very similar nature. So a long story short without making it really complicated and complex, can axolotls hear you? I'm pleased to say they actually can. Now we all know that axolotls have very poor time when it comes to their vision. I can completely sympathise with this. But they do, they have a terrible, sorry time when it comes to vision. Um, you can pop a pellet or a worm right in front of them and they'll just literally look past it almost, oblivious to that it's even there. That is until their next sense, which is smell, kind of picks up pace and that's when they can kind of alert that their food is nearby. They have an impeccable sense of smell. Now I've done a few little tests myself. To confirm this, I popped some pellets and some earthworms in one corner of an axolotl's tank. The axolotl was probably a couple of inches in length and had an impeccable appetite. So I was thinking, let's see if this little monkey or this little water sausage can do his homework and find his food. And I'm pleased to report that he did. It took him a little bit longer. As soon as I popped the food in and I popped the lid back on, that wasn't usually how I do things. Normally I'll hand feed, as we all, we all know on this channel, I like to hand feed my axolotls. And on this occasion, I went in there, he knew I'd been in his tank, but I hadn't put the food right in front of him. I didn't gift it to him, and I wanted him to do a little bit of work for it. And he wasn't very impressed to begin with, but he started searching out food. Now, I would attach the footage, but it's very grainy. And to be quite honest, it was purely for me. It was quite a boring video to watch, so I won't bore you with the details. But take it from me, over the space of a 15-minute window, the little guy, who again was only a few, a few inches long, was nose down, actively looking for his food. So their sense of smell is absolutely incredible. Someone said, is it a bit like when a shark smells blood? Now, I don't know too much about the ins and outs of that to kind of say, yes, it is like that, or no, it's not like that. All I do know is they, because of their poor vision, their sense of smell definitely, definitely outweighs the bad vision. It's a very, very clever kind of evolution of a, of a salamander, um, and more particularly the axolotl. And it's really cute to do to watch too. It's really cute to witness as well. I often say to people, I, I recommend live foods better anyway. So earthworms, night crawlers, bloodworm, when they're a certain age and stuff like that are really good staple diet foods for your axolotl but i do recommend that people do on occasion 
do pop in some pellets too. Now the reason I suggest that people do this is pellets are great and they give off a sense of smell but not instantly. You pop a bloodworm in or you pop an earthworm in instantly that aroma is in the water and they're looking around for it straight away whereas a pellet or at least a good quality pellet will sit in the water for a bit and it'll take a little bit of time for that pellet to get soft and the smell to kind of go into the water and that's when the axolotl will wake up, pay attention and start hunting out his food. He'll start actively looking for his food now I think that's good for the mental stimulation of the axolotl. I think it's great to give them more than just here you go, here you go, here you go, here you go every single day of his life. Yes that's great, hand feeding is absolutely for me essential but it's also good to watch them and to monitor them and watch them actively seeking out their food. It's incredible, it really is incredible. So if you haven't done that already do do that, do do, I said do do. But definitely do that because it's pretty remarkable to watch them sniffing out their food. And you'll see they're like a dog sniffing out sniffing out something or another. Well, I don't know what dog sniff out, but it's like that. Nose down and they're trying their best to put their eyes to the sensors with the nose. They're trying to connect the two. Head down and they're constantly looking around for food until they find it. And then when they find it, they'll literally crawl right up to it. And they almost go into like a hunting mode where they'll watch it. And they're almost anticipating their food moving. And if it's a pellet, it's not really going to move very far, is it? and then the slightest movement and they'll snap at it. It's brilliant, it's so amazing. And like I always say, if you put more time into your animals, in particular in my case, your axolotls, you will get more out of them. It's a bit like training a dog. If you just have a dog and let it do its thing, you're gonna have a wild dog on your hands that's gonna not listen to you. It won't even know how to sit, it won't know how to behave. It will just cause you all sorts of mischief. Well, look at your axolotl in the same light. If you keep an axolotl and see it as more like a fish, they're not a fish, but you see it like a fish and you just keep it in a tank and you almost forget about it and you chuck some food in every couple of days. You're not going to get much out of him in personality. Whereas if you spend a bit of time getting to know that little character and working out what, what quirks he's got, then you'll soon see that they've got a lot more character and personality than you probably first thought they did. They are amazing little animals and if you just persevere with them and train them, yes, you can train them you will get the best out of your axolotl. I have, I have touched upon this in other videos too, but you will and you absolutely can train an axolotl to feed from hand. Now, the best way to do this is just to persevere with it. When it comes to feeding, feed your axolotl in the same area of his tank every time. So for example, let's just pretend this screen's a tank, okay? Um, let's just say Pixel is sat down here, for argument's sake. I'm gonna come in from the top with a wormy and I'm going to dangle that wormy and I'm going to get her used to knowing that this is where she gets fed, this is her corner and I'll do this every single time I feed I'll offer in the same corner, if she's over in that corner I won't go to her, I'll keep where I am and she'll soon start to associate, hang on but I don't get anything over there but over here I get food, I get worms, I get wormies whenever I want one I can just go over there and kind of like almost beg for a worm which they do, absolutely do um, and it's, it's phenomenal, it really is great. So I just wanted to show you that this wasn't something I was just making up. So as you can see, here's Pixel, my favorite water sausage of them all. And she's actually waiting in the corner. So this is her feeding corner. And as you can see, she's patiently waiting for me to get the worms ready. She's a very, very clever water sausage. The cleverest in all the land. <laughs> Absolutely adorable. So she knows this is where she has to stay. Um, and she'll get fed and I'll feed her from the top here. I'll come down to her. She'll always come up to me as well. Get the camera back in focus. There we go. And there we go. How amazing is that? You enter a room and they're hungry or they, they haven't seen you for a while. They'll show an interest in you coming over to their tank. These are all things that are not completely out of a fairy tale story. These are real things that you can achieve from your axolotls. Please don't underestimate them. They are very clever. They are very, very intelligent indeed. And I do think that if you put a little bit of time and love into them, you'll get the best out of your axolotls. And that's pretty much it for this week's video. However, however, I do want to say one last thing before I go. Last week's video, I did say I was going to give away the white t-shirt. The response was amazing. I've kind of put the responses from Instagram and my YouTube comments together, and I've picked out one winner. But for this one-off, completely unique white version of this, for this Frankie's Aquatics white t-shirt, there is one and one only. I haven't even got one after I've, got, after I've gave this one away. So the winner is right here. If this is you, be sure, this is done at random, just bear that in mind, I haven't, pick, I haven't picked any favorites. If this is you, get in touch on this current email, which is gonna be right here. 
yes, below, just to throw things off a little bit. Give me an email, I'll arrange to have it shipped out to you, obviously once all this craziness is kind of blown over, shall we say. So congratulations, you've won yourself a one in a kind Frankie's Aquatics t-shirt. It's even classic as a prototype. There is literally two t-shirts currently. Um, and you've got the white one, which there is no more of, ever. That's pretty amazing, isn't it? Pretty cool. So thank you all so much for stopping by and checking out this week's video. I do sure hope this has helped you understand axolotls a little bit more. That's what it's all about. Like I said to people, I'm no expert. I'm still learning myself. This is the hobby I absolutely know and love. To share these little things with you, it means the absolute world. If you haven't done so already, please be sure to hit that like button. Also hit the subscribe button and also ding that notification bell. And until next time, ta-ta for now. Woohoo!